Yes, one Absolutely. thing you did mention is um, you did not have directly or like in terms of uh, statistically speaking on your resume program management experience before you joined Google. So I'm curious, and a lot of people listening to this podcast might be curious, like what was your process like, and how did you how did you prepare for the Google interview versus how was the interview like, and what were the expectations that you can maybe reflect back on, saying that hey, actually I answered this, but they were looking for something else, or maybe they were actually looking for something. So can you talk about the whole interview process in much more student friendly sense? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and this is something that I've been working on, as you might know, to to just kind of like you know democratize access to these roles at tech beyond software engineering, right? So I'm just working on this interview series too about where I'm talking about these specific goals. So uh, you can check that out too. I guess like there are different kind of roles, uh, different kind of like interview types that you get as a program manager, right? So one is just problem solving or what I call case based situations where you're given hypotheticals which are not related to your domain and you're still addressing those. So over there, what they're trying to look for is your ability to think through very, very complex factors or varying complex factors in a short amount of time in a completely new context that you've not seen before, right? So this is not like your traditional testing your program management skills, but it's just testing your problem solving skills. So that's critical to pretty much like all interviews that I've seen across like, you know, these big tech companies or even product game tech companies, right? So problem solving is absolutely critical. And um, my advice over there is, again, like I talk about frameworks a bit, but think of like, you know, mental models or frameworks that would help you think through those complex factors in a short amount of time. Uh, so that's like one type of interview that you'll get, I think, uh, when you apply for program manager jobs, which I got to. Uh, second type of interview that you'll get is actually, you know, core program management skills interview. So it's known by different names in different companies. Facebook calls it program sense. Google calls it like role related program management interview. Amazon calls it program management interview and so on and so forth. So over there, they're just testing, you know, your core program management skills, uh, strategy and planning, how you execute, what parts of execution you look at, how you enable uh, execution for others and so on and so forth, right? So that's like your core program management interview that you need to prepare for with, again, uh, just, you know, knowing about this program manager job and like thinking through those factors in that particular point of time with what you're given. Now, there are two kinds of questions, again, to this interview type. One is like hypothetical, where they're giving you a new situation. Uh, for example, if you have three stakeholder groups who have different priorities and, you know, you're working on a pro program which can take care of only one, how would you go about selecting which one to prioritize, for example, right? Uh, the other is past uh, experiences based. So can you tell me about a program that did not go well in the past and what would you do differently if you had to approach it all over again, that kind of thing, right? So those are past experiences based. So of course, people who have not worked on program management would potentially think of giving answers about, uh, again, you know, say class projects or uh, thinking through uh, situations which are kind of like loosely related uh, to this kind of uh, work. But if it's not, it's completely okay to say that you've not had these experiences, right? Uh, the third kind is uh, kind of like role related interview again, which is like specific to the area that you're applying for, say it's in education or it's in like uh, uh, working with a specific kind of like communities and so on and so forth, right? Or particular kind of domain. So it would be like a domain knowledge interview of sorts. Uh, the last one is kind of just testing how you work with different people in, in like a meaningful way, making sure that, you know, you're someone who can, uh, work with different set of stakeholders, you can communicate well and those kind of things. So I think those are the four broad categories of uh, interview types you can expect as a program manager. And that's exactly what I had to uh, when I interviewed with Google. And for people who don't have that background, I, I guess uh, it depends, right? So if you're applying for uh, junior level positions, they understand that you would not have the same kind of background. And for example, I know that Google, Facebook, Amazon, all of these have like, you know, program management internships as well which is like a good way to get into this uh, kind of position and develop those kind of skills. You can also apply. I think it's just such an interesting time to apply into academic labs, uh, do this kind of like work as well, or centers, right? That there, there are these amazing centers that are coming up in academia where they need like this kind of help. So you could certainly reach out to professors or center heads if they need such kind of expertise. And lastly, startups, right? Startups are so many number, both in India and the US and all over the world right now. So working with them to make sure that you are able to convince them of the value that you can add as a program answer would be, of course, uh, very, very uh, important too. Uh, and yeah, broadly for preparation for these kind of interviews, I think number one thing is to be structured, uh, communicate well, 
make sure that you're taking into account different factors because as we've spoken about looking ahead is a critical part of it so you don't want to and i i, I think i'm just like a broken record about this but risk mitigation strategy is very important because uh, you're very very responsible for thinking through what the various risks to what's a particular program or a research project could be and uh, you're responsible for thinking about it so you better like think about it in advance even in the interview itself so uh, yeah those are some of the things that could be potentially helpful for interviews Thank you.